Good morning everyone this is Shagun Welcome to the Akashvani program of Study IQ Here you'll find some important pieces of news from where questions may be asked in the examinations Before moving forward I'd like to tell you that you can join my Telegram channel for all the updates of Akashvani videos Let's get started INS Vakshir India has got its six scorpion class submarine INS Vakshir. Mazgaon Dock in Mumbai has so far delivered four scorpion class submarines to the Indian Navy under Project 75: INS Kalvari, INS Khanderi, INS Karanj, and INS Vela. The Vakshir is named after the fish, a deadly deep sea predatory fish in the Indian Ocean. INS Vakshir will undergo sea trials and may be inducted into the navy by March 2024. INS Vakshir is a diesel electric submarine. It can carry out many missions like anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, laying mines, area surveillance, etc. The attack can be launched with both torpedoes and tube-launched anti-ship missiles at the same time. Underwater or on the surface Moving on to the next news India's first pure green hydrogen plant commission in Jorhat Oil India Limited has set up India's first 99.999% pure green hydrogen pilot plant at Jorhat pump station in Assam In this green hydrogen is produced from electricity generated using an ion exchange membrane that is AEM electrolyzer structure. Let us tell you that AEM technology is being used for the first time in India. The gas which is produced using renewable energy like solar energy is called green hydrogen gas. It does not emit greenhouse gases. It may be a better alternative to fossil fuels in the future. Moving on to the next news. Guru Tegh Bahadur Jayanti 2022. April 21 was the 400th birth anniversary of Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur ji. The Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi released a commemorative coin and postage stamp on the occasion. Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur ji was born in April 1621 in Amritsar, Punjab. His father was the sixth Sikh guru Guru Har Gobind and mother Nanki Guru Tegh Bahadur was a great teacher as well as an outstanding warrior thinker and poet He is also called Srishti Di Chadar that is protector of humanity and Hind Di Chadar that is shield of India Guru Tegh Bahadur was assassinated in Delhi on November 24, 1675 on the orders of the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb. According to the Sikh tradition, Sikhism was founded by Guru Nanak and later nine other gurus extended it. It was influenced by the Dharma Bhakti movement and Vaishnava Hinduism. This religion condemns various rituals like fasting, superstition, idol worship, etc. The Adi Granth has been given the status of eternal guru by the Sikhs and for this reason it is also known as Guru Granth Sahib. Now the last piece of news. Civil Services Day. 15th Civil Services Day is being celebrated on 21st April 2022. On this day the members of Indian Administrative Service and State Administrative Service express their commitment towards the citizens. The date of April 21 as Civil Services Day is significant because on April 21 1947 the first home minister of independent India Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel while addressing the probationary officers of the administrative service at Metcalf House Delhi said that the civil servants are steel frame of India Civil Services Day was first celebrated in 2006 in New Delhi Satyendra Nath Tagore was the first Indian to be selected in the civil service. The foundation of civil service in India was laid by Warren Hastings, but later, due to its improvement by Lord Cornwallis, he is called the father of civil services in India. Now let's note down the question of the day. The year 2022 marks which birth anniversary of Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur ji? Option A, 399th 
option B 400th option C 401st and option D 402nd write your answers in the comment section below so friends this was it for today we'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching